Alright guys, hello and welcome to UC Davis StarCraft. I'm Alphaferg and I'm bringing you a very exciting game today. This is going to be our very own TBZ Tim Gandianco and he's going to be facing EG SubERC. And this isn't any crazy ladder map. This isn't like something that I found. This is from a very special Davis practice session that happened when uh, Conan, Suppy, uh, came to UC Davis to hang out with our club. And we got him to sit down and play a game against TBZ. They were practicing together, having some fun. And uh, Tim said that this was a very good game. So I'm super excited to see what happens. It's going to be here on Cloud Kingdom. So uh, a good map. Very, very standard kind of... You get the three bases and then it kind of swings back and forth between Terran and Zerg. So I'm excited to see what happens in this game. But really what I'm excited to see is uh, these two players. These guys have a very long history of playing together. Uh, in fact, in the CSL last year, when UC Berkeley and UC Davis had a, uh, a big match, uh, the Berkeley team came down to Davis. Davis threw a giant land. We had about 120 people there. And TBZ and Suffy had a huge match. Uh, it wasn't the ace match, but it was scored 2-1 to one with Davis in the lead. So Suffy had to win to take it to an ace match. And TBZ just boss moded it up. It was on Metalopolis. There was a ton of nukes. I think it was featured in the IPL um, top five plays of the week. It was crazy. That game, absolutely nuts. So this is a rematch. This is a little bit later, of course. That was about last November. Uh, so this was played um, probably uh, October, mid-October this year, 2012. So this should be about a year later. And of course, since then, uh, Suppy has gotten onto Team Evil Geniuses. He's shown his might at MLG Anaheim and the subsequent MLGs. He's done very well in the WCS, and we'll see what happens. Uh, TBZ, of course, uh, has not been able to quite get that GM status. Uh, his schoolwork, of course, conflicting with that time period where if you want in GM, you just kind of lose. Um, but here we go. Uh, looks like he's expanding. Uh, there's, Of course he's expanding. It's Command Center. Um, and so he's going to be defending his SCV, chasing away this drone. Just make sure it runs away and doesn't kill. Suppy is expanding as well. We'll see where the game goes. It looks like Tim, yep, he's gotten a refinery. It's going to be completed. He's going to be going up. And the fact that it's such an early refinery with an expand, uh, there's the barracks right there. I'm pretty sure at this point he's harvesting his gas. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a reactor Hellion expand. Um, and Suppy is just going to be macroing up as well. Of course, he's going to have a slight lead. Uh, he's going to want to throw down. There is the spawning pool. A little bit late. Uh, he has a lot of minerals and nothing really to spend it on right now. So I think he might even be going for a triple expand. But that's not really strong on this map. Um, so maybe some micro errors there. He's a little behind. <laughs> maybe TBZ's yelling at him. Of course, they're practicing right now in the StarCraft house here in UC Davis. Um, so I can't help but imagine that they're right next to each other rubbing you know bonking elbows and and yelling out swear words of course suppy getting a little bit late there on expand he still has a lot of money but spawning pool will finish soon he'll be able to spend that on queens and uh, keep up his overlord production he'll be in good shape here tbz has thrown down the orbital command the drone is still scouting around here uh, even going to take this, but has he taken, has he scouted out this factory? He is not, um, and he should go take a look. Of course, seeing the way that there's so much gas, he's even going to block this. And this would be kind of, if you're transitioning to Banshees, you'd want to take that second gas. So that's going to be a pain in the butt, especially because there's nothing that can do damage right now. So TBZ is going to have his strategy altered a little bit if he was going to go for those Banshees. I uh, just cast the game where he did go Banshees against Machine in a similar position. So there's going to be Reactor Hellion, but what is Tim going to transition to after that? Meanwhile, uh, is he busy getting a good scout there? And Suppy is just going to continue being a macro boss. You can see he's up to 27 Harvesters. The Queen's coming out now. He'll be able to do an Inject. Yep. And uh, he's going to continue getting, it looks like, a third Queen now um, with the Hellions coming out on the field. <laughs> a nice snipe there by the SC, uh, the Zergling killing the SCV. And this is going to be... This is kind of an important key point right now. TBZ is expanding. He's trying to secure his second base. He's going to have a lot of Hellions off this reactor. But the problem is he can't he can't do anything right now. And he's just going to get another command center. He's going to spend his money. He doesn't have the gas right now, so he's going to slowly work down this extractor. But he's definitely not going to be able to tech too hard like he would have been able to if that gas deal had not occurred. Now... Uh, Suppy is starting to get drones up here. He is about 15 supply ahead. He has five more workers. 
But here come the Hellions. And if they can get a good roast down, they're going to keep these queens occupied. They're not going to be able to bust in here. And smartly pulling back as soon as he sees them. But he can threaten this base pretty easily. There's a very wide ramp. There's a backdoor escape route. There's four Hellions now. He can push in one side and then move in uh, undefended other side. Uh, and Seppi's going to try to wall this off a little bit, but you never want to do a full wall off. He does not have any spine callers right now. Uh, this one's about halfway done. Will he be able to pick off this queen? Looks like not. The other two queens coming to defend. A very nice scout there by this overlord. Uh, going to catch this marine still working on the extractor. But he totally sees where all this tech is. He sees the barracks. He sees the orbital command being transformed here uh, for setting up a third. It's going to be a pretty laid-back game at this point right now. Uh, the Hellions are going to be what the scare factor is. And there's just not too much to kill right now. There's a drone getting instantly roasted. Uh, looks like he's going to try to take out this queen, and he totally will. It's going to fall in a spray of sadness. And even try to pick off some of these drones. But three more queens come to defend. And I think this is just about even more Hellions in production right now. Uh, though TBZ is starting to transition into the important bio units that he loves using so much still trying to kill this extractor that is such a pain in the butt you can see he's taken both of his gas here at his natural and he's abusing this uh, orbital command here on the high ground so even some SCVs there trying to scout uh, he's gonna kill maybe a creep tumor or two looks like not gonna try to force the issue uh, I'm just gonna run away with his <laughs> hellion force gonna keep him alive and that's pretty smart especially because they only cost minerals so the more you keep alive the more you don't have to rebuild and spend those minerals you can spend it on cool units like marines and upgrades and barracks and stuff like that more queen uh stuff just to try and deny this creep spread and that's really really important oh my gosh suppy is spreading so much creep right now he's got <laughs> he's got uh he's got to face off the hellions though and that's gonna be tough so where do we go from now? Right now, Suppy is starting to transition. He's got the lair on the way. TBZ is, of course, changing up his building patterns. You can see five different barracks being produced. Uh, it looks like the starport is going down right here on the reactor and going to be putting down a tech lab here on the factory with a armory. It could be Thor's to back up uh, or maybe just focusing on tanks and getting those tank upgrades. Both of those decisions would be pretty, pretty strong right now. Uh, Suppy does have the Baneling Nest up. He's getting a Roach Warren. Interesting. A Lair and a Roach Warren. He may be thinking that TBZ is going to be going very strong mech. You can see he has not scouted out really what's going on here in the base. And if he builds too many Roaches, he could be really, really in bad shape. Uh, TBZ has secured his third right now, getting <laughs> one Zerling Scout. Some smart Marines there. Of course, scouting at the same time an Overlord is probably not very effective. But that's okay. These Hellions are in pretty good shape right now. But if Suffy starts to get too many roaches, he could be caught with his pants down against uh, these Marines. Oh my gosh, Ling's getting everywhere and really doing some damage here, uh, reducing this Hellion count. But TBZ smartly moving them back a little bit. And this is going to be a pretty even trade. A lot of Ling's do go down, which is a lot of larva. But on three bases with that many Queens, that won't be too much of a problem. And Suffy, of course, has really good, strong macro. Uh, so Tim is now transitioning. You can see the tanks coming out. Siege tech on the way. He's getting a fourth command center for an eventual expansion. He's getting uh, vehicle weapons level one, Terran bio weapons level two. Uh, so definitely spreading out his upgrades to keep his overall force very strong. Getting a nice overseer scout. But you know what? Suffy saw it all. And he now knows do not go roaches. So he's not going to do any of this research. It's going to be sitting there as a backup building in case of a very late game transition to mech. Um, but now he's got an infestation pit. He's getting more in-base hatcheries to increase his larva production. He's going to try to take this fourth. And this is going to be a very important point uh, in the game. If he can hold this fourth, he can get a pretty strong macro lead. And TBZ definitely now has a place to focus his attacks. Of course, he can drop here in the back. He can do... Um, some pretty cool stuff with drops here on the main as well. Suppy does have some pretty nice Overlord spread, so that shouldn't be a problem for him. But just dropping and keeping the Zerg on his toes is definitely good. And you can see he's starting to pressure this fourth base. He's gotten the Marines out. He's getting the upgrades completed. 2-2 is on the way. Medivacs are coming out in force. And uh, Suppy's creep spread is just crazy right now. Uh, here comes the push, and there's not too many bailings right now. There's only a handful 
four by my count, and the queens are not doing too well either. Of course, one marine there, uh, just seeing exactly what's going on. More banelings on the way. I don't think TBZ is going to really push this right now. He's going to wait until he has a fair number of tanks, and I only think one is in production right now. There's two on the field, but where are they? Uh, they must be sitting at home, just being bros. There's one, there's two. There they are. And more tanks in production. Uh, but TBZ is being chased a little bit by these marines. Uh, those That's the wrong way to go, marines. That's that's not the way back home. That's the way to death. Uh, but TBZ is now setting up here in the middle of the map. He's going to have a pretty undefended uh, base here in the back. There's only one marine in this bunker, but it could be enough to force a pullback if he's trying to run by with some lings. These bailings are moving out now, and uh, Suppy is trying to catch... Oh, these marines undefended. Uh, but now Suppy's running into a choke, and this is a lot of units to be running into. Uh, TBZ is now going to try to take his fourth, a very well burrowed zergling there, trying to defend it. In fact, there's burrowed zerglings everywhere. Uh, there's no base he can take without doing something, without Suppy knowing about it. And now the infestors are on the field. TBZ is going to have to be very careful with his army units, though... Subby's being pressured here at the 4th, and his army is way out of position. These siege tanks are getting set up, and TBZ is already splitting. He knows the attack is coming. He's going to try to set up, and these uh, poor drones are going to take the damage right now. They're just going to be tanking siege tank hits, which is never good. Uh, lone siege tank does get taken advantage of, almost uh, trying to pick off some of these infestors. But here comes the push, and this one infestor is just being a bug. Uh, in come the Zerglings and the Infested Terrans. Great Fungals going down. Suppy is catching a lot of units right now, though Suppy is behind in supply. Uh, Suppy is going to clean this up pretty well. The Infested Fungals are pretty darn good. But the real thing that matters right there is Tim is going to get his fourth base set up if he can get his army down here. Um, of course, a couple more Marines there trying to find something. He's going to take out some. Don't move your infester here. Oh, it's going to die. Oh, that was a very unfortunate. Uh, Suffy not paying attention to where his infester is right there. And these marines are going to be able to do a lot of damage. Uh, they will get cleaned up, but you don't want to lose more infestors. Suffy is running them into the army. Another infester goes down. Really, really unfortunate for Suffy. He's not playing too strong, and these infestors are trying to escape. Another one's going to... Oh, another one escapes with only five health points. And these marines are just being really annoying right now. Uh, the medevacs are moving around. This marine is just so ballsy right now, just trying to take on the entire Zerg army by himself. His buddies, of course, getting in on some of the action. Uh, TBZ is really just kind of trying to scout out what's going on, but here's what's important. He's got his whole base here, and uh, SCVs get some work in. There you go. Uh, missile turrets now as well. There is a run by here in the back. But Tim's army is right there, and if he gets a sense of what's happening, he can shut this down pretty strongly. Suppy, in the meantime, is transitioning to a greater spire. He's got corruptors on the way. Um, this could be a lot of damage right now, but the bailings exploded a little bit prematurely right there. The siege tanks are doing a lot of damage. Uh, all the bailings are cleaned up, and the zerglings just aren't going to be able to do too much damage. That's Oh, jeez. Yeah, the SCV is taking a little bit of hits right there, but it's not going to be very much. You can see that TBZ has killed far more workers right now. 18 workers killed uh, from this harass here and other harass in the game. While Suppy's only taken out four. And the harvester count right now is, is pretty even when you count in mules. Tim is about nine. Is exactly nine harvesters behind. And they're even on bases. Suppy only now has taken this expansion right now just for the gas. But it's going to be pretty vulnerable right now. You can see this medevac is going to be moving around. Suppy will be able to see it. And we'll be able to shut down that pretty easily if he gets his army in the right position. But Tim is way ahead in supply right now. Suppy is really just waiting on these Broodlords to finish. Where are they? They're back here. There they are. Um, but Tim is starting to get... Oh my god, he's going ghost. He's going for nukes. Will this be a repeat of what we saw in the CSL last year? Um, a drop here. Very smart positioning right now. Um, but Tim's going to pull up and lift away for another fight. It looks like he's triple dropping right now. He's got a drop going on here in the base. Very good defenses here by Suffy. But there's another drop coming into the third base. Uh, no, he's going to drop into the main. And he's also harassing this fourth. He's going to take it out. These infestors again, Suffy. You can't leave your infestors uh, without a defense. But a good fungal there cleans it up. Now there's the drop in the main taking out a lot of units. 
uh, just going to pick up. Not going to try to force the issue right now. And this, these drops are really keeping Suffy on his toes. At the same time, uh, TBZ is trying to move up against these Broodlords. But you can't really do that right now. The Broodlords are just doing too much damage. He's going to need Vikings on the field. Uh, he, does he have any Vikings? He has zero Vikings. He's going for Ghosts, actually. And that could be very bad. He is good with Ghosts, but you can see these Siege Tanks are just not going to be useful at all against this force. There are a number of Corruptors as well. And Festers, I think he's going to try to do a Bio Hold against these Broodlords. If it works, it could be very, very good. Uh, there's one Viking out on the field. There's a nuclear missile being produced. I'm so excited right now. The Infestors are moving directly in. They're not doing anything. Oh my god, five, like, full Infestors. They're just died. Oh my gosh, Suppy, you gotta have better control. And he's down by a lot of supply. Um, there's not too much now defending these Broodlords. But they're, they're in good numbers. They're Corruptors. There's seven of them right now and TBZ's probably gonna lose this fourth right now he needs to secure another base um and i don't think he's gonna do it but he has a lot of ghosts if he can land one good nuke it can be good and the nuke will be completed very shortly uh we'll see what happens it looks like TBZ uh just has a meta pack hanging out there um but he did lose the base he is 15 supply ahead and there are now infestors on the field to defend any bio run-ins so this is a pretty tense situation right now. TBZ knows he needs a base. Uh, he can't really take any. Unfortunately, some Zerglings blocking expansions right there. So he's going to have a tough time doing it. The, there's the nuke. Uh, did Suppy get... Did Suppy realize that he's moving all of his army in? This could be bad. He needs to back out. And he is going to do that. TBZ uh, now is going to have to be careful. Don't die to your own nuclear missile. And the nuke is just going to land and be very ineffective. Um, though it sure is pretty. It looks like another drop coming in here uh, at the 4th. Definitely going to try to take advantage of the fact that this... I mean, Queens, Infestors, Broodlords, they're not very effective at all. And now this drop... Oh, there's just going to be a lot of Banelings. You can't drop into Banelings. And you can see these Birdlings are just being really, really a nuisance. And Suppy's going to have a hard time... Oh my god, he took out the base. Must have been very low health. How did I not notice that? Uh, the drop's going to get cleaned up, but Suppy loses the base. And Suppy does is back on three bases. Both players are back on three bases, but Suppy, TBZ, sorry, has retaken his fourth. He's repairing it. Uh, he'll be able to take a fifth and sixth base once he takes out these really annoying Zerglings. Don't you wish Orbital Commands were Banshees? Sometimes I do. Um, but Suppy is kind of on the back foot right now. He needs to take bases, and TBZ now is in much better shape. He has Viking counts. He has nukes on the way. He has ghosts. They're 3-3 three, three upgrades. What is the upgrade count on the Broodlords? They're only 1-0. Oh, it's really not going to be that good. Uh, the, oh, the Corruptor is getting a little bit too far ahead of the army and taking a lot of hits right there. The Broodlords are providing a lot of good surface damage for the uh, ground cleanup. The Infestors are getting in here and doing a lot. But I don't know if he has enough to take it. And you can see, there's the nuke. You just can't push in against nukes. And Suffy is forced to run away again while Tim completes uh, his kind of maxing out right now. Um, oh, move away. Gonna let Luke nuke land again. Oh, no, Marines, what are you doing? You foolish, foolish people. He was gonna, he, I think he was trying to bait a little bit right there. But I don't think Suffy was going to fall for it. Uh, but Tim has now secured this bottom corner base. Uh, Suppy's moving in right now. He's going to try continuing to pressure this base, this ghost. Uh, yeah, it's going to lift off. The TBZ can really now uh, secure this. It looks like another drop. Oh, this, this ghost. This ghost is on the way, man. Uh, this ghost is moving in, trying to get a cool nuclear missile down. There it is. Oh, this nuke is fully there but there is a fight going on right now tbz is trying to defend this ramp here at the base but he throws down another nuke and he's just gonna force out the units this is oh my god Suppy has not responded i think he is not he's focusing too much on this fight right now he's gonna lose every drone oh oh my gosh that ghost has 34 kills a huge huge blow to Suppy's army uh you can see his supply plummeting right now another nuke here at the fourth, Suppy is falling to exactly what he fell to last year, and he's not able to fight back against these ghosts with such an immobile army. He's going to be able to take out this base, but you can see Tim is just continuing to replace 
replace his buildings um, and eventually he'll get this one but right now this ghost is just being a huge pain in the butt you can see continuing to build units Vikings ghosts uh, Suppy's gonna have a hard time he's not mining at all right now aside from these oh here this base this is the only safe base right now really this ghost is being a huge huge pain uh, but I don't think this nuke is gonna land at all no it does not get off it looks like there was another nuclear missile where was it oh this base is continuing to be pushed back by suppy tbz is uh <laughs> he lost this base being replaced by a zerg base uh marines moving in being very effective right now they took out this base uh tim's trying to micro a little bit poorly against these banelings uh, but he is resecuring his own base. These brood lords are continuing to push, and Suppy is now pushing very well. These infestors are dropping tremendous fungals on Tim's army, and it is dropping in supply down to 115. Suppy is doing a lot of damage. These Vikings, though, are pretty, pretty good. Infested Terrans having to save the day. The brood lords are cleaning up everything, and Suppy, oh, Suppy's way ahead in supply now. Uh, TBZ does have. Uh, some nukes on the way, but I don't think they're ready to see uh, all of the ghost academies right here. But they're going to fall, and if nukes don't complete, I don't even think there's a ghost here on the field. TBZ only has one supply, one mining base right now. He's relying on his mules, and it's not good to be relying on mules. He's not mining anymore at his third. Suppy has totally secured the space, and he's going to have a base down here in the bottom corner. And I think TBZ is now fighting from behind. You can see he's building a lot of bio units. But he doesn't have too much else going in his favor. He's going to lose um, this entire base stronghold that he had. He's going to rely on his command center, their supply depot walls, to hold off the fight. And Suppy is just really moving into a good position. These Brewlords have not been countered all game. And they're already up at 14. There's the nuke. If this nuke does a lot of damage, it could be the end of the game. Uh, Suppy is... He sees it. He's going to move out. This is really unfortunate. TBZ could not get... Good nuke on the army. This broodlord count is just way too high. And the nuke is not going to land. Oh, no. Oh, no. The army is moving in here to Suppy's final base. And the broodlings are going to take it down so, so fast. You can see Suppy uh, is, is just pounding everything. These broodlings are 3-3. Three, three. They're chewing through everything on the ground. Uh, Suppy is really running away with this game now. He's <laughs> got a huge patrol rally here for these zerglings. He's retaking his fourth base. He's got a base set up here down right now. He can retake mining at his third. I think he's just going to try to end the game right now. Uh, TBZ is, again, trying to use nukes, and that's a very well-placed nuke. Um, Suppy is not going to try to move in up here against it. Uh, the rocks might even fall. I've never seen someone using nukes to take down rocks, but you know what? I think that's a good use for them. Wow, barely any damage. It's like five nukes to take down a rock. Uh, good game, rocks. Oh no, these infestors! Suppy is just... Uh, he does get a couple fungals off right there, but they're going to be so, so weakened now to broodlings. There's no medevacs on the field at all. TBZ is trying to get to where he needs to be. He's trying to take out the uh, mining base, but these queens are even blocking everything. Great transfuses! Uh, Suppy is just running away with the game right now. These queens are doing so much damage. The broodlings are now getting in the fight. And I think TBZ's days are numbered right now. I don't think he has what it takes. He's trying to get his bases back, but he really just doesn't have anything else. He's running around with this poor small bio force, and uh, even the infestors are going to be enough to take this out. Um, Suppy is in a very dominating position right now. There's just strike forces running around the map. TBZ, he's sitting there. He's holding his head in his hand. Suppy, why did you do this? He's crying a little bit. Uh, it's it's pretty tough when you lose in a practice fight to someone who's sitting right next to you, but of course these guys are very good friends. Uh, the Broodlings, Brood Lords now coming in to secure the win. They're going to be able to take down this Orbital Command oh so quickly. This is TBZ's really last offensive right now. He does have a couple nukes right now. These nuclear missile silos were never taken out. If he gets the nukes off before, the bases get taken out, and he indeed does nuking again at the fourth base will he try to move in and nuke the third it really won't matter because there's no mining going on here uh there is the nuke these ghosts aren't cloaked uh let's see some of the pretty nuclear blasts if we can but tbz really doesn't have anything he's back on to his natural 
here come oh no don't run in it's a little bit too early to do that um but here is the killing blow moving in finally what is the, yeah these these brood lords just have never been countered i don't even know if they ever got attacked directly by tbz this infester corruptor force is so much oh my gosh catching so many so many marines here with these fungals and that is just such a dominating display by Suppy. Taking down TBZ, coming back, uh, defeating TBZ with the same style that he lost to in the CSL. Really showing his growth as a gamer over the last year. And TBZ throwing out a GG well played. That's it for UC Davis StarCraft. I'm AlphaFerg. I hope you guys had a good time. I did too. I will see you later. Peace.